in real life. Your physical should be higher than mine, but my defending should be better than yours. My defending is better than yours in person. What are you talking about? Oh my, oh my God, you're out of your mind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Tyler Adams here. Hey, guys, it's West McKinney. Expelliarmus. Bro, isn't that crazy? We finally made it to the starting 11 of FIFA. You can make the line out because they're going to question why you chose those people instead of the... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have the problems with the guys when this airs. Why didn't you start me, Tyler? Are you happy with your new FIFA rating? <laughs> the only reason I'm questioning the stat is because I, I was a 79 at Schalke and I moved to Juventus. And I went down three. How's that possible? I don't even care about my shooting stat. I don't shoot anyway, but the pace? Weston's the same speed as me? Has anyone watched us run? Yeah, Everyone uh, would know I'm are faster than him. Right now? Are you serious right now? In real life, your physical should be higher than mine, but my defending should be better than yours. My defending is better than yours in person. What are you talking about? Oh my, oh my God, you're out of your mind, bro. <laughs> okay, let's just start. Let's start. This is the scene at Dignity Health Sports Park, the venue for this game. I'm Derek Ray. Do you think soccer in the U.S. can be as big as other U.S. sports? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think as the MLS grows, people are just gravitating more and more to see that, like, we have a lot of talent. The biggest advantage that we have is that we're all young and we're all, you know, playing at, at really prestigious clubs. And so we're all learning from best players around the world. The factor of having, you know, the World Cup be on home soil in 2026 is going to have such a huge influence. I mean, we have the confidence in ourselves that we're going to be able to do something special. But most importantly, we need to focus on, you know, 2022 because the U.S. obviously didn't qualify for the last World Cup. The people growing up, they want to watch football, basketball, baseball, because those are the sports that everyone has access to. So I think now the platform is growing. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? If you were to play five aside with NBA and NFL players, who are you choosing? Giannis. Yeah, he's a baller. Odell Beckham. Yep. LeBron, LeBron is not a soccer guy. He owns some of Liverpool, but I don't think he's playing. I'd put him in goalie. Massive. Alex Caruso, too. He likes soccer. He's a big Man City fan. Larry Nance Jr. Oh, yeah, he's a baller, too. Oh, my God, my shooting is so Bro. bad in this game. Of course, Weston scores. Hey. <laughs> Besides me, who has the most skills in the national team? I'm tackling anyone. Yeah, that's very true. As far as, like, defending players, I guess... The hard ones to defend, yeah, is Christian. He's he's a hard yeah. guy to defend. Gio's really skillful too. He's not like in the same way though, you know. Like he just does like a lot of chopping and stuff like that. Behind the defense here. What a lovely. Spot. You're speaking to Weston right now. No one even comes Tyler. close. Weston's a multicultural guy. He likes to listen to a lot of different music. We are the champ. No. <laughs> <laughs> this guy he has to be the center of attention all the time. We have this thing at national team camp that instead of like getting fined or anything like that, like we find that it's more embarrassing to people that if you come late to a meal or a meeting, then you have to tell a story. Everyone's finished with dinner, ready to go back to their rooms and like chill. Weston's like, no guys, I got a story. And everyone's like, oh no, let's go West and like clapping and stuff like that. And he gets like this huge uh, energy burst from when people are like, oh, saying my name, like, oh, I gotta do it now. It's gotta be a good story. And the story that he went to tell was so cringe and so embarrassing to everyone that he had to sit down in the middle of the story and was like, all right, guys, I, I can't finish this. <laughs> and there's the whistle. 